The Jonesboro Public Schools and Nettleton School District will slowly start bringing their students back in the classroom the first week of school. The Jonesboro Public Schools and Nettleton School District will slowly start bringing their students back the first week of school using a staggered schedule. This comes as both districts say things will look a little different this year due to the virtual and blended learning options. It's almost like everyone's a new student because there are going to be uh, new ways of uh, arrival and dismissal that everyone needs to learn. So we thought it'd be much easier if instead of having all the students come on the first day and every be, everyone being familiar with those processes, if we had one grade or two grades at a time, that would give us um, more staff that could assist with that process. Both school districts will offer virtual learning and a blended in-person and remote learning option. If a school does close, learning will turn virtual. Nettleton Superintendent Karen Kurtner says school principals came to her and former Superintendent James Donovan with the idea to stagger students back in the classroom. Both Wilbanks and Kurtner say the staggered arrival will help them with distributing laptops to students. Kurtner also says this will give them extra time for students to learn exactly how blended learning will work. We needed a little extra time to work with those students um, and, and to get them used to that before we all are back together. It gives our teachers a little bit more of an opportunity to get to, to give more personal attention to those students, especially the smaller class sizes are going to be easier to um, talk with and, and see what their situation is. Now, if a student gets diagnosed with COVID-19, they will be sent home to quarantine for 14 days while continuing to learn virtually. Now, if a teacher gets diagnosed with COVID-19, they will also be sent home to quarantine for 14 days and they will continue to teach virtually as well. We will continue to update you on this story. For Northeast Arkansas News, I am Sarah Doan in Jonesboro.